Hi guys, I'm Marco from the Nussland Foltheit Lab. We study how color patterns develop and evolve in the annual fish species. We study that in the fish house. Here in the fish house we breed several different Daniel species which are closely related to each other. They evolved over 10 million years ago in Southeast Asia. That's the zebrafish, Daniel Rario. It has several horizontal blue and golden stripes. Here you can see the direct sibling species to zebrafish. This is Daniel Esculapii. It has several vertical dark bars. Hopefully you can see the patterns of the different species here a little bit better. This is the zebrafish, Daniel Rerio, and this is Daniel Escolapi. In order to understand how the different patterns evolve, we would like to make hybrids between the species, and this is actually possible, and we would like to interbreed them even further over many generations in order to make a test called QTL mapping. But these hybrids are unfortunately sterile, so we can't do that. We rely on candidate genes that are required for color pattern development in zebrafish, and we test whether these play also a role in Daniel Escolapi. For this, we use the CRISPR-Cas9 system. If we make mutants in a potassium channel gene called KCNJ13 or Obelix, then we get a phenotype in zebrafish and also in Daniel Escolapi. Both genes are required for color pattern development in both species. By using a so-called reciprocal hemizygous detestin hybrids, we recently found that this gene evolved between the two different species. If you want to know how evolution of gene function occurred between these two different species in order to achieve differences in the patterning, tune in on my seminar in the Research in Action series.